it, it's so humorous and uh, amusing how there's a large elephant in the room. It, it, and it's an elephant that's so huge, so big, you absolutely cannot miss it. But it's an elephant that so many, so many right here in the church doesn't want to talk about. Because it's easier to talk about that false prophet over there. Oh, oh, look at that false prophet. Look at him. He, he falsely prophesied again. He said that God said this and it didn't happen. Well, anyone with half a brain can tell you right there on, 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 on point that that person right there is not of God. And the person's fault, and the person following, and the person's following them, they really have no heart after God. They're here for the social media entertainment, the social media circus. But, but see here, here's another thing. It's not just the followers of the false prophets that are just here for the social media circus. Many of those who are followers of channels who call out false prophets, I'm going to put you on blast right now. Many of you are nothing more than absolute hypocrites. And as we turn to Matthew 23, we, we, we really see how Jesus felt about hypocrites. How, how it angered Jesus, the hypocrisy of the Pharisees. How when that woman who quote unquote was caught in adultery was dragged to Jesus' feet, how Jesus responded to them. See, but I will say this about the Pharisees, as wicked and evil as they were, at least they had the ones that were standing there had enough common sense to walk away without casting, the th casting a, a, a stone. Far less than what we're seeing right here today. And we see people right here following channels, religiously, I want you to hear me say this, religiously following channels who call out false prophets like Timothy Dixon and Troy Black and others, uh, false apostle Catherine Crick and others. Oh yeah, they, and then, then here, here it is, one year later and two years later and three years later, they themselves are still in a sin that they've been in the whole time while they've been rooting for teachers to call out false prophets. Yeah, call out that false prophet over there. I got my King James Bible. But yet, oh, wait a second now. Don't call out my adultery and fornication because I want to sit up in that. I want to simmer in that while I follow channels that call out false prophets. While channels that call out spiritual fornication and adultery while I follow that I follow while I follow channels that call out spiritual fornication and adultery I myself sit up in spiritual uh, sit up in natural fornication and adultery you, you, you get what I just said I'm going to follow after channels that are calling out false prophets calling out spiritual fornication and adultery but yet I'm going to sit up in fornication and adultery in the natural Pure hypocrisy. I'm going to call out deception and error and lying of the false prophets, but I'm going to support slander and gossip. Now, we, we've seen this, right? We've seen and this is this is an epidemic. Now, let me ask you this question real quick. Tell me right now and give me an honest to God answer before you hit unsubscribe, because I'm going to lose subscribers on this message here. And I don't care. As I've said a few months ago, I will run this channel down to zero subscribers if that's the result for standing for truth. I'm not here to be a showboat. I'm not here to get butt slaps like that other channel. I'm not here to be an entertainer. I'm here to share the truth. When are we going to be a body that will run to the throne of God, will run to Christ, will have that heart of repentance? But no, I'm, I'm, I'm over here distracted with channels calling out false prophets while they won't address my own error and sin. This is the stain that we're seeing today. It's hypocrisy. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to criticize them for lying on God, but yet I'm going to lie on you. What's more prevalent today? And I'll end the message with this question. What's more prevalent today? Is it, is it false prophecy 
in the church? Or is it fornication and adultery in the natural? But though you see, here's the thing. Those two actually go together. But I will tell you one thing, that there, there's far more in the church who are in natural fornication and adultery than in spiritual fornication and adultery. And when you're in, when you're in fornication in the natural, you will be in fornication in the spiritual. So many people can, they, see, we've got a group of people here who have been hiding the last several years under the false prophets, the, the, under the channels that call out false prophets. They've been hiding under an, an umbrella. They've been sheltered. See, while they sit there and, and point out the sins over there, then they continue on in their own sin. They continue on having sex outside of marriage. But hey, I got a King James Bible. That absolves me of that. Oh, hey, I'm, I'm ready for tribulation, they say. That absolves me of that. But here's the thing. It does not absolve you of that. Satan is the father of all lies. See, either the, tr the one and only true God is your God or he's not. It's just that simple. And while you follow these factions and cults and all these little groups over here talking about King James only and Hebrew roots and ready for tribulation and ready for rapture and all these things you claim you're ready for, but that yet you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Hmm. We're going to we're going to keep playing this game. Let me make this final statement here. Don't let this, don't allow this YouTube platform to send you to hell. Don't allow it. Don't allow this YouTube platform and the euphoria that comes with it. Ooh, I got more subscribers. Ooh, this, ooh, that. I don't care about the subscribers, growing subscribers. The individual people, yes, I care about. But numbers on the screen, no, I don't. I'm not here for that. And we got to get to a place because we're late, late in the hour where we got to wake up. One or two or three over here because we know everyone's not going to wake up, but one or two or three. Wake up, wake up, wake up and quit following this vicious cycle of deception of the false prophets and those who are calling out false prophets. It's a vicious cycle of delusion and deception.